Having our allies out here and especially the National Guard has been so beneficial to us. Having any extra help at our closures has just been really beneficial due to the fact that people are really on edge right now. They're very stressed out, obviously, with the situation, as are all of us. And it really helps to let people know that give them a little bit more peace of mind when they're coming through and seeing that they have so many allies out there. We are, we are the allies, and, and having the National Guard out here has just been absolutely beneficial to us. Currently, we've got them at uh, permanent closures along with one of our officers. These are hard closures, so that means that there are no ins and outs unless you have the proper credentials to get in and out. Tactical control points, checkpoints in the area, co-located with law enforcement. Uh, we have footprint in the Placerville uh, area and in the Tahoe Basin area as well. Uh, we're just doing uh, checkpoints like this, just making sure people don't go into places they're not supposed to go. This is important because uh, I know South Lake Tahoe is a very big area for Californians just to visit and touristy tr attractions. I know this general area here, a lot of tourists come here. This is definitely uh, very unusual for Lake Tahoe and South Lake Tahoe in general. Um, normally this is because we're at state line and we're by the casinos and we have the lake behind us, which obviously you cannot see at the moment, um, but we have so many places for people to stay and entertain, get entertained around here or entertain themselves, of course. This place is normally packed full of people. Um, we generally have tourists everywhere and locals alike because this is a very much a community where we all work together uh, and all live together and all play together at the same time.